I want to make DNA storage happen. Writing software is no longer a solo experience. You never really stop thinking about this. Just being a researcher, it's, by, it's part of you. Yeah, it's not just a job. My name is Eitan Jacobi, and I'm an assistant professor at the computer science department. When I talk to people, everybody tells me, we don't need storage today because you can store everything in the cloud. Because it's up over there, it's in the cloud. So we don't use the hard disk anymore. We don't need flash memories. Everything is solved. But then I ask Vic, so where is the cloud? All of the, the big companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, they have big data centers. And what we want to do, we want to shrink them. The capacity that we have inside DNA, it's enormous. So if I take a movie, I can convert the bits, that the zeros and ones that I have in my movie, into this basis, A, C, G, and T. It looks like a powder. So we eventually we get a really small tube, and this small tube, you, we're going to have our movie, our files, our documents, our, our picture. So I can take a data center in the size of a football stadium and store it in something like this. Programmer today is like navigating before Waze or before even having a GPS. There's a general map. You roughly know where you are, you roughly know where you're trying to go, but there's this huge road system that you have to navigate to get from point A to point B. What we're doing in our research is trying to learn from how people navigated this world of code, how they solved a particular problem. And if we have enough information about your intent, about what you're trying to do, we can complete the rest of the program for you automatically. It becomes like a tango with a machine. You give a piece, the machine gives a piece. You give one piece, the machine completes the rest. You just tell me where you want to go, and the machine will take you there. My uh, research field deals with uh, spatial computing. It's like we're taking the real world and making a virtual copy of it. If everything goes as planned, the algorithms will be good enough so the doctors might be able to tailor the geometry so it fits to your body better. So this is like personalized medicine. Let's say uh, medical imaging, where I design a hip replacement, which is based on the 3D scan of a person and not just some generic option. I think it's not that far away and it could be possible. You should be able to, to make things at your house instead of buying them. I want in 10 years from today to be able to generate a true DNA drive storage. These are the people that I want to work with. These are the people that I want to interact and to be part of. There's some unit pride to this place that we take it seriously. This is the DNA of this place.